go. Glute hit. Set those timers for 30 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. Kettlebell sumo squats. So your feet should be wide apart, toes are pointing outwards. That means your knees will always be pointing in the same direction as your toes. Keep that core tight, your shoulder blades back. And as you come back up, contract your glutes, pull those shoulder blades back. Do not let your knees cave in. Here I'm using two 25 pound kettlebells. You don't have to do what I'm doing. Use the amount of weight that you can use while still maintaining correct form. Rest. Great job. 10 seconds to rest. Get ready for the squat jumps. Work. Squat jumps. Now, I want you to keep your chest up as you squat down. The lower you can get down to the floor, the better. At least get your thighs parallel to the floor. Make sure you jump up as high as you can and then land softly. Keep that intensity going. You better not stop. And trust me, I know it burns because I'm doing it too. But the only way you're going to see changes in your physique is if you put demands on your body that exceed your comfort zone. Rest. Rest 10 seconds, grab your kettlebells, and let's get ready for deadlifts. Do not do deadlifts if you have lower back problems. I like to do straight-legged deadlifts. You don't have to. You can keep your knees bent. You should never feel this exercise in your back. That means I want your back to be straight the entire time. Keep your head up. You're slowly going to go down to the point where you feel a stretch in your hamstrings. And then you're going to come up and contract those glutes at the top. Focus on your glutes. Rest. 10 seconds to rest, get one kettlebell, and get ready for half burpees with a deadlift. Place the kettlebell in front of your toes. Initiate your burpee. As you go into the bottom of the burpee, ask yourself, are you in a straight body line? Check in a mirror. You can use that to keep your form on point for all of your exercises. Remember to focus on contracting your glutes at the top of the deadlift. Remember to stand tall, keep those abs tight, your shoulders are back. Remember to keep your back straight the entire time you are doing the deadlift motion. Great job. Rest. 10 seconds to rest. Go grab that stability ball faster than I did. So lie down on your back, get those heels up on top of the stability ball. Your arms are at your side for stability. You're going to bridge up, squeezing those glutes until you get a straight body line. Then you're going to bend your knees to roll that ball in towards your bottom. Straighten your legs to roll it back out. And I want you to not let that butt sag. Keep it up the entire time. Give me two more reps. Rest. 10 seconds to rest. Get ready for my favorite, breakdancer planks. We all want that sexy core, but more importantly, we need a strong core to minimize the likelihood of back injuries. So breakdancer planks are just a plank with a twist. You can see that I am bringing one foot crossover to the opposite side and tapping the floor and repeating with the other side. Have fun with this one. I mean, you're breakdancing, but I must say it's deceptive. This one looks easy, but it burns. Rest. Grab your kettlebell. We're doing two-handed kettlebell swings. Let's check your form. Keep your weight in your heels the entire time. Your glutes and abs should be contracted tightly at the top of the swing. Make sure you don't arch your back at the top of the swing. Now the kettlebell should only be coming up to shoulder height at the top of the swing. I don't want to see it going higher. Now you should never feel this in your lower back. Remember it's your glutes that propel the kettlebell up. Keep it going. Rest. You've got 10 seconds. Put that kettlebell down, grab a drink, and get ready because we're going to be doing star jumps. Okay, of all the exercises, this one killed me the most. 
Bend your knees, get into that squat position, and then jump vertically as high as you can, and then extend your legs and arms out fully at your sides at the same time to make a star shape with your body. Then land softly on the ground with your knees bent. And repeat. Don't stop. I know it kills, but remember, metabolic workouts like this are one of the most effective ways to see changes in your body in a very short amount of time. Good job, you got 10 seconds, now grab that jump rope and get ready for high step. I want to see you keeping that intensity as high as you can. I want to see you moving that rope a little bit faster. Can you get your knees up just a little bit higher? Now remember, you got to land softly on the balls of your feet and keep those elbows tucked in close to your sides. This is such a great exercise. You're working your shoulders, your abs, and your quads. Come on, hang in there just a little bit faster. Come on, keep it up. Don't stop. All right, put the rope down and go get some dumbbells. We're going to do some jumping jacks with an X foot cross. We're doing a jumping jack with a variation. You can see we are alternating the crisscross pattern with the feet. Notice that I'm raising my arms only to be parallel with the floor, not higher. You don't have to use dumbbells for this exercise. You can use nothing at all, or you could even use a jump rope and still use this crisscross pattern with the feet. Whatever you choose to do, I want to see you do as many as you can in 30 seconds. Come on, let's go. All out. You're almost done. Rest. Play it again, do it two more times through. 